Today, I'm gonna show you how to update DaVinci Resolve 16 from within the app. Let's take a look. What's going on, Jay Lipman here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we're diving back into DaVinci Resolve 16. I'm gonna show you how to update from within the app. And this is actually a brand new feature that came with DaVinci Resolve 16. Before this, it was a process. Upgrading DaVinci was a process. You had to open up your browser, you had to go to the website, click download, fill out a form. It was a whole thing. And then you had to run the install process. And now, now it's supposed to be a lot easier. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right. So here we are on my desktop, which definitely needs to be organized, but we're going to go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve. And once that's done loaded up, you're going to find yourself in the project manager and we're going to go ahead and hit new project. Just go ahead and call this test project and hit create. And now you should be in DaVinci Resolve. Mine always opens up to the edit page. I'm not sure what yours does. Now, I would like to have seen a little pop up that lets me know that an update is available, but we're not seeing that. So what we're going to do is go over to where it says DaVinci Resolve and we're going to hit check for updates. And right here we have a software update. A newer version of DaVinci Resolve is available. Current version, DaVinci Resolve 16 Beta 1. Latest version, DaVinci Resolve Beta 2. And then down here in this dialog box is a whole bunch of information about what's in DaVinci Resolve 16. Now, the one thing I will say is that that dialog box doesn't say anything about what's new in DaVinci Resolve Beta 2. It just, it's just the difference between 15 and 16. If you want to see what's in DaVinci Resolve 16 Beta 2, you actually have to go to their website and look that up. For now, we're just going to go ahead and click download. And from there, it's going to open up your browser and it's actually going to download. You can see down here, it's downloading the new DaVinci Resolve. And from there, you're going to need to close down DaVinci Resolve and then go through your normal install process for an update. And then when everything's all said and done, you boot up DaVinci Resolve again. You can just come up here where it says DaVinci Resolve, hit check for updates. And you should get this little dialog box that says you are on the latest version of DaVinci Resolve. Now, this isn't a perfect system by any means. The perfect system in my mind would be when you open up DaVinci Resolve, a little dialog box would pop up and say, there's a new version available. Would you like to update? And you click yes. And then all of the updating happens within the app. Maybe you have to restart the app at the end of the update process. But other than that, that's it. It's done. You click one button and it just does it. The way that it stands right now, you still have to download a zip file from the internet. You still have to extract the installer from the zip file. You still have to close down DaVinci Resolve to begin the update process. You still have to run the installer and all that stuff. The only steps that you are saving here is you can start the process from within DaVinci Resolve, which is pretty cool. And you don't have to fill out the form that you used to have to fill out every time you updated, which is also pretty cool. But really those steps didn't take that long in the first place. Filling out that form or, you know, typing the web address into the browser, that didn't take that long. So as it stands now, maybe they'll update this in a future update, but as it stands now, the whole updating from within DaVinci Resolve is more gimmicky than anything else. Which is sad to say because I actually, I love DaVinci Resolve and I still think that especially for free software, it's the best you're gonna get. And really the free version can still contend with a lot of the paid softwares out there. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you're excited about or if you think it's a little lackluster. If you're interested in learning about more of the new features in DaVinci Resolve 16, I have a playlist linked right up there. Make sure you go check that out. And right here, you'll see a video that YouTube thinks you should watch. And if you're interested in learning more about video editing, camera, gear and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will talk to you later. See ya.